So maybe you heard that we are hosting a retreat in New Zealand and Australia. Well, I got some news about that. Uh, well, we're no longer doing that as of now. We're postponing it. We had a lot of inquiries, a lot of emails, and for some reason or another, it just wasn't working out for people. So uh, yeah, that's postponed as, as, as of now. And I want and it, and it reminded me of how fear is so real how the fear of failing is so real to me, and it has been for my brothers and I since we got started on this journey. But it also reminded me how we got to where we are today, and that's by turning our stumbling blocks into stepping stones and using these challenges as opportunities to grow and become stronger as people. You know, there's, there was a part of me that, you know, it's like had like these self-defeating thoughts like, oh, uh, we're going to have to stop running retreats, uh, have we tapped into our fan base and no, no, you know, we've, all the people that want to come on retreats have and now we have to find something else to do? Like There was a part of me that wanted to give up. But then I was reminded that this, this is our opportunity. This is my opportunity to practice what I'm preaching. We just got back from the Virgin Islands and it was an epic retreat. We had 21 people there, including ourselves. And there's no denying that what's taking place at the retreats is nothing short of of magical or divine. I mean, God is truly blessing us with, with people who want to grow and learn with us and no longer want to be stagnant in their lives or being held back by fear. It's all about taking action. It's all about taking action. Wow, I can't tell you how many times I've been paralyzed by overanalyzing things or by overthinking things. All I do is think. It's so important that we are vigilant about acting, taking action on the things that we want. And I want to continue hosting these retreats with my brothers. These retreats are so much fun and they induce so much growth in me. I really love them. So, with that said, we're going to be hosting a retreat for Valentine's Day in Utah. We're going to be doing some skiing. That's right, the Rob Bros have never skied before. <laughs> So uh, we're stepping out of our comfort zones and hosting a retreat in Utah. What does success mean to me? Is a retreat only successful if it fills up and we have, we made money doing it? How does our society define success? Like, can you be a good writer, a great writer, without having a, a book published? Can you be an artist without having like a gallery in downtown? Can you be a musician without having sold out concerts? Yes, the answer is yes. And just because people don't respond how we necessarily want them to our, to our gifts doesn't mean that we aren't successful. And regardless if anyone shows up for Utah or not, the Raw Bras will be there. And we will be doing our thing, doing what we know how to do best. And that's getting real, getting fun comfortable. Letting whatever comes up come out. Stepping out of our comfort zones. What is holding you back from taking action on the things you want out of life? We'll see you in Utah for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Email us, robbraz at gmail.com. Respect.